we did one question with polar substitution today actually on one of the examples the first example I show today and the one which I started discussing two, two days ago there was a polar substitution there the difference in this example this time the, the outer function in the first example the, it was a very explicit function was x times y square whereas here the outer function is just just a symbol so this time you don't have this luxury of direct approach because the outer function just a symbol f of xy that's why the only way to do it is by a chain rule the other complication in this example it's the other way around in that example in the first example we found r and theta derivatives in terms of x and y derivatives whereas here i do it i want to do it the other way around i want to find x and y derivatives in terms of r and theta let me just bring that example again just to just to convince you that i'm not lying to you look at this example this first example on this set of slides here well too much yeah you see the same polar substitution out of function this time is given by the explicit formula and we need to find out of function by r which we done in terms of here which we done in terms of out of function by x and by y as the chain rule directly applied now i want the other way around i want x and y derivatives in terms of r and theta derivatives there are two ways to do it and I'll show you, I mean, they're almost identical. And they rely a little bit on the first year stuff we, you, you know from, I mean, linear algebra stuff. Look at this. So if I use a chain rule, as before, and I use it in a, in a forward way, so I express my R derivative in terms of X and Y derivative, you see? So I, I say that FR derivative, it's the F with respect to the first own argument, then X by R, then F with respect to the second own argument and then y by r and that's how it is if we replace the xr and x and y r derivatives from here and from here this is in line with the first example today theta derivative again in terms of x and y so so far i do the other way around i express these two in terms of these two it's a chain rule it's a chain rule again f by x by the first own argument then x by theta then f by y second own argument and then y by theta and then again substitution for the x theta and y theta derivatives again directly from the polar directly from the polar now we need the other way around at this stage, if you're facing a problem like that, what do you think will be the good, good approach? What would, be, what would be a second good step to finish the question? The question says find x, fx and fy in terms of fr and of R, uh, f theta, and we did the other, the, we did just the opposite, opposite thing. What would you suggest at this, in this late hour? Any suggestions? Any suggestion? Will do, I mean, any, any possible suggestion? Any wild guesses? Yes. Use the inverse function. Inverse function. We well, I understand every word you said, but <laughs> but I didn't understand the strategy. Can you just elaborate a little bit? Well, but you, you, you had something in the, in the back of your head, right? And I, I didn't get the message, actually. Well, how, how can we possibly use an inverse function here? I guess. You get. Can you solve it to like? Solve for what? And if, if I, what, how, how do I, what, does it look like similar to something you used to do a lot, or no? What do what you used to do a lot? Solve what? Hey? One of you, please. Just go, go ahead. So you want to say that we're looking actually in terms of fx and fy, we're looking at two linear equations with two unknowns. And we know how to solve that, right? 
How do we solve that? Yeah, no, how do we solve? What's the method? <laughs> Don't we have like a special beautiful name for that, which you've been like a hammered, the, the name was hammered in your heads like for the first, for the back substitution. Maybe Gaussian elimination, right? Maybe raw echelon forms, all of these beautiful things, right? Yes, but actually I'll, I'll surprise you, I'll do it differently. But you, in principle, you are, we just solve for one and for f of x and f of y. Just I, I'll choose a slightly different method of solving for this because it's, I don't know, it's, in, in, this, in these circumstances, it's probably the better one. We can solve for x, y, and f, y, but I'm going to use Kramer's rule. Do you remember the Kramer's rule? You don't? What is it? No, no, you know it by this name. I mean, if you, if you know it, you know it certainly by this name. I'll give you 100% guarantee. If you know it, you know it by this name. Uh, it's the way to come up with the solutions. That, I mean, it's a direct formula for the solution. We all know, I mean, you're quite experienced with this business, with this system of linear equations, that it's not always true that system is solvable, and it's, it is not always true that the system is actually uniquely solvable, right? We all know that. There was a the whole bunch of theorems which test all different criteria when the system is solvable, when it's uniquely solvable, row echelon forms, uh, pivots, leading, non-leading columns. Kramer's rule, it's sort of like a sh shorter way to analyze system. It, it doesn't give you the complete analysis. It only just solves the system in case the system has a unique solution, which I'm hoping it is the case in this case. Uh, and it just uses the determinants to find that. So basically, you compute the, prime, uh, the principal determinant of the system, which is the, com you see, combine all of these coefficients like an augmented matrix, but without the right-hand side. You combine them in a determinant, like this. You, you should know this method. When, when I was teaching the first year, we, we discussed this. So you combine these coefficients of your system of linear equation. And it's OK. If, I guess it's a very, very simple one. You compute this determinant. If this determinant is non-zero, the system has a unique solution. In fact, it's even only if result. Now, when the system has a unique solution, Kramer's rule also suggests the way the formula to this uh, for this unique solution. It says you now build two other determinants, delta one like this. So where you replace the first column of the principal determinant by the well, I should call this the right hand side, even though on my slide it's the left hand side. But in official, in official, like in, a, in a strict language, in the system of linear equation universe, it's the right hand side. You replace this first column with the right-hand side, and you compute the determinant. Then you compute the second determinant, where you replace the second column of the principal determinant with the right-hand side of your system of linear equations, and compute that. The Kramer's rule says, Kramer's rule says that the solution, which we're looking for, fx and fy, is just the quotients of these two determinants, free well, delta 1 by delta, And delta two by delta. That's that's all there is for the for the for the Kramer's rule. So it says you compute the principal determinant. If it is non-zero, system has a unique solution. If it is not, then the system then that's it. You have to use the Gaussian elimination, row echelon form, and all of this beautiful stuff. But if it is non-zero, it is a there is a one unique solution. And if you want to find this, that's how you find this. by quotients of these two determinants. It's a, it's a perfect thing, right? You just have a direct formula for the solutions. If you don't like this, you can solve it any other way. I don't insist on you following the Kramer's rule. Like I said, you're very experienced with the system of linear equations. And I'm sure everyone here is capable of solving these two <coughs> systems on your own. And that's the end of it, right? We found fx and fy in terms of fr and f theta. F theta. So let me just say it again. This, these lines where I use the Kramer's rule for solution, if you, don't, if you hate the Kramer's rule all of a sudden, then you don't have to use it. You can solve it any other way.